Hey guys, NerdKing101 here, and today we are going to be talking about Boruto episode 68. And for anyone wondering why I'm not like editing the video like I did for episode 65, well that's because this episode and the last are probably my least favorite episodes of the entire series so far. There have been episodes that I thought were a little boring, episodes that I thought had issues, were a little inconsistent, they could have been a teeny bit better. Nothing that I thought was downright terrible until this week. Episode 68 was god awful. It was hot garbage. I hated it. I actually had to skip around certain points in the episode because I was so uncomfortable. Which brings me to the problem with this episode. This is not a review. I just want to talk about why I dislike this so much. And it's mainly the fault of Tomaru. I think he's really creepy. He looks like he's 18. Now, he could very well be 15 and just look like he's 18. But even if he's 15, Chocho is still 12 and it's really uncomfortable to watch. Nothing happened. In fact, it turns out he's kind of just a jerk because he doesn't like fat people and he's just not a very nice guy that is leading people along and using people and just doing whatever he really has to do to get away. And he's a real jerk, but it doesn't make it any less creepy. Secondly, Chocho is a monotonous and annoying in these episodes. And yes, while Chocho is an obnoxious character, she's not obnoxious in the way she is in these episodes. She's more obnoxious in the way as she's just kind of rude, but is portrayed in a much more comedic way. In these episodes, Chocho attacks Miki because he ruins her moment with Tomura. I'm like, what are you doing? I mean, like, this, this character that we are seeing in these episodes does not line up with what we have seen before. The Chocho we've seen up until this episode for 67 episodes would not attack a teammate over some dude. Like, she just wouldn't do that because you don't attack your teammate over anything. Hell, even Sasuke, who's known for attacking his teammates, only really attacked Naruto directly, and everybody else was in self-defense. Chocho is like, you ruined my moment with this guy, so I'm gonna try to punch you and beat you up. I'm like, but that's not the same character. If Chocho was established being this selfish and petty, and getting over that was part of this arc for her, that would be fine. But that's not what it is. She's just all of a sudden really selfish, really petty, and not the kind of person that you would think would become a shinobi because you're kind of like, why are you doing this? Like, even in part one of the original series, like Sakura and Eno, you kind of got some vibe of why they were doing it. But like, with Chocho, with Chocho in this episode, you're just like, you're not acting professional. You're attacking your teammates on mission because they interrupted moments with this guy. Also, I don't understand what she's thinking in this. Like, she's getting all excited and talking like honeymoons and marriage. I'm like, she realizes she's an actress in a play, right? She realizes that none of this is real. Like, she's not giving her an actual engagement ring. It's a prop. She understands this is all fake, right? I'm just looking at her and I'm like, what are you doing? Then I'm looking at Starada, who she's another character. I like Starada, I really do. She's my favorite character of the new gen. I think she's a fantastic character. But the kind of friend she's being in these episodes is really weird because she's clearly against what Chocho is doing and it's like, oh my god, this is not gonna end well. And you can tell Sara's just like, ugh, a lot of the time. Like, she's acting excited every once in a while for her friend, but overall you can tell Sara's like, ugh. But she's also acting excited and encouraging it, and I'm like, why are you encouraging Chocho to treat this play as if it's real? 
Like, I don't understand what is happening in this episode. None of it makes any sense. Secondly, is she replacing the previous actress? Why is she doing it? No offense, but if you wanted to replace an actress, like the love interest of a series, you wouldn't replace them with somebody who looks younger and is a different race. You wouldn't make it that drastic. You would want to find somebody as similar to the previous actress as possible. Hell, if you had to go with one of the girls on this scene, you would go with Sarada. Just put her in her wig, give her something to make herself look a little taller, and she could probably make herself look a lot like the other actress. But, but no, you're going with a character who's a completely different race, who looks nothing like her. I don't understand from the production standpoint what the directors are thinking. I also don't understand why one of the shinobi guarding them is allowed to become an actor. I don't know why Konohamaru and Moegi are allowing this. Specifically Moegi, who is supposed to be in charge of Chocho. She is the Jonin sensei. I'm curious to what she's doing while Chocho is acting like a child. And it's just Chocho is so unlikable in this. And I get that they're trying to do some sort of message or lesson that Chocho needs to learn. That like she shouldn't value the opinions of others. And the way she looks, and, and like, it doesn't matter how she looks, and she should find friends and people who don't care either. Like, she's fat, and her friends and people that care about her and love her wouldn't care about that. But honestly, the entire point to her character, that she's this girl, who thinks she's like the most beautiful woman alive, and it's really fat. That the entire thing she had going for her, that she doesn't give a damn. The entire series. So far, she's been like, I don't care. I think I look incredible. I don't care. That's the entire point of the character. That's her, one of her biggest characteristics. And now, all of a sudden, she's like insecure about it out of nowhere. It just doesn't make sense. Especially considering the fact that her father is Choji. Like, where was his insecurity coming from? Her father is a fat Joni. Father is fat, but he's also a Joni. I don't understand where any of these insecurities are coming from. Where they're coming from is never addressed. It just, it's all just really poorly written. And honestly, the way they're going about the whole lesson they want Chojo to learn and grow with, with her accepting what she looks like and all that, isn't unique. It's a very simple story about a girl who is a little, who is overweight, who makes herself look skinny to please some guy that she likes. And it's like, this is so generic. This whole thing, and it's just generic. And honestly, I will say that there have been fillers in Boruto that have been very generic, but all of them have at least felt like Naruto, and they've had fights, and they've been fun, and the characters have undergone development that makes sense for their character. That camping episode is great for Sarada's development. I love the scene in that episode where Sakura's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, the kid was being super nice and you were a bit. Go apologize. And where Sarada realizes that, you know, her and Boruto are friends and she needs to be a better person. It's a great development for the character. And where she go, where she does go, and she does apologize. It's also very refreshing because that's something that took Sasuke like five years to do. But Sarada, with the help of what Sasuke didn't have, a parent, was able to come to terms with her issues with Boruto pretty early on and apologize. And the two of them have been really good friends since then. Like, that's how you do these filler episodes. You take the stuff in the manga and you work to set it up. They've done a great job at that so far. But honestly, this episode was just really uncomfortable to watch. All the stuff with Tomura, especially the part where they're in like the metal box and they're about to kiss, I skipped it. I will openly admit I skipped until after Sarada found them because it was so uncomfortable. I was like, because it is very clear that Guy isn't her age. Alright? 
especially when you consider that the play they're doing or the TV show is a Romeo and Juliet parody and Juliet was 13 and Romeo was 15. So it just gets even creepier. I honestly don't want to watch it and I wasn't expecting to see something like this in Naruto because I've always given Kishimoto praise for he doesn't do any sexualization with his character, male or female. He doesn't do a lot of fan service. He's very good about being like, the people are minors. He's very good at that. I've given Ikimoto a lot of crap for the way he draws Sarada. I think it's really bad. It's one of the reasons I didn't read the Boruto manga for a while. I did hop back on recently because it started getting really good. But it's just not Naruto something. It's just not something you would see in Naruto. You wouldn't see something like this happen. And it's kind of upsetting to see something like this in Naruto because you're just kind of looking at it like it's creepy. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And the episodes aren't good. It would be one thing if it were creepy and it made me uncomfortable. And the episodes were really good. Like, and it was just me being like, ew, this is weird, I don't like this. These episodes just aren't well written, if you ask me. I think the last one was fine. I think the last one was exploring, like, a celebrity crush Chocho hat more, and it, like, made sense. And I was like, okay, she's, like, 13. 13 13-year-old kids have, like, crushes on celebrities. I, I see where they're going with it. Okay, and, like, it will get in the way of the mission, and she'll have to learn... To like prioritize the mission and be responsible and you can do a lot with it. Maybe Sarada could get hurt because of it and she could feel bad and it could develop their friendship a bit because those two have a great friendship. But no, just poorly written. They just come on in this really creepy thing where Chocho is like in love with somebody she's never met, which is weird. Like She's in love with the person, yet, she, yet she's only ever seen him as an actor, when he's acting as another person. So I'm like, who is she even in love with? The character or the actor? Like, they're not even doing something interesting like that. Like, where she's a little kid, and she loves the person he pretends to be, and she has to realize his face. No, it's so uncreative. The person he plays, and him as a person, are being portrayed as basically the same. None of it makes any sense. It's poorly written, and I don't like it. I really don't. This is the only time that I've watched something in Boruto, and I've been like, wow, this is bad. This was really bad. Tell me what you guys thought about the episode if you did watch it. I still think Boruto's a really good show, considering this is the first time I felt negatively enough about it to have to like rant about it on camera and give my opinions on it. But overall, I still think it's a really good show. I just think this may probably end up being my least favorite story arc in all of Naruto. Like, there's just nothing here. It's creepy, it's uncomfortable, and it's badly written. Also, just very quick other complaint. Why is Chocho butterfly mode pink? Why are her wing, energy wing thing pink? I'm not really gonna complain about it heavily because we've only really seen Choji use it. But I always assumed the reason Choji's butterfly mode was blue, like the chakra wings were blue, was because they were made out of chakra. And if that assumption is right, why did Chocho have pink chakra? Now, I know that in the original canon, everybody had different colored chakra, but the anime changed everybody to blue to make it easier to adapt, I guess. Rasengan is yellow. The Rasengan is yellow in the manga. So I would get if they were squishing over with the Boruto to begin to adapt the manga, like with colors, so everybody had different colored chakra. But from what we've seen of Chakra in this show, Chakra is still blue. And those wings are made of Chakra. So I don't care how good the design looks, why are they pink? I get it's an aesthetic thing, I just don't understand why they're pink. Like, 
It doesn't make me too angry because Boruto has been really good with being consistent with the canon. And this is probably the first time they've done something where I've been like, no, 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 I don't agree with that. I think, I don't think that's how that works. I think that is wrong. This is the first time I've been like that. So I'll let that slide. And I'm okay with it, I guess. If I was in charge, the wings would have been blue because I think the reason they're blue is because they're made of chakra. And chakra is blue, but signed for very rare circumstances in terms of Jitsu being used or different forms of chakra, like tail beast chakra or Sith path chakra or something like that. But yeah, overall, I don't like these episodes. I'm probably not going to talk about Boruto in this format again for a while. Because honestly, Boruto is just not that really works for me. Just reviewing and talking about Boruto weekly or weekly reviews in general. I just don't like doing them. I actually used to do them on my old channel until I just kind of killed myself. I burned myself out. I hated doing it. So don't expect like weekly Boruto reviews from me. I was just really upset with this episode, and I want to talk about it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this one. If you did see the episode, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And, yeah. Have a great day, guys.